Derrick Henry has recently broke onto the scene of the NFL world. His past two seasons have been special to watch, and he has been very dominant lately. Even since high school, Henry has been a dominant player and quite possibly the best high school football player of all time. Derrick Henry attended U Lee High School and was a three sport athlete participating in football, basketball, and track. As you would have guessed, he excelled in football the most, and he is one of the most dominant high school athletes of all time. His first three years of high school were very good for any starting running back, where he totaled over 2,400 yards and 25 touchdowns each season, but his senior year is the greatest high school sports season of all time. Henry rushed for 4,261 rushing yards and rushed for 55 touchdowns in 13 total games. Yes. Those are his exact stats. Those stats are not fixed at all. There was a game where he rushed for 511 yards and six touchdowns. He rushed for six touchdowns four different times that season. During his high school career, he rushed for over 12,000 yards and 153 touchdowns. Both of those stats are high school records for a high school career. He was a dominant athlete and a man amongst boys in high school. Henry later committed to the University of Alabama where he spent three years in college. There. Henry spent three years at the University of Alabama and was not as dominant his first two years compared to high school. His freshman year he only rushed the ball 35 times and was 382 yards and only three touchdowns. His sophomore season he had to share the backfield with TJ Yeldon who was great in college and a beast for Alabama, and he got more carries compared to freshman year. He rushed the ball 172 times for nearly a thousand yards and scored 11 rushing touchdowns. This just shows that Henry is improving throughout his college career and shows that he has the scene of potential in college. He held, um, after Yeldon left, Derrick Henry took over Bama's backfield and was a stud. He helped Alabama to the national championship, and at, in that game, Henry rushed, for, rushed 36 times for 158 yards and three touchdowns as Alabama beat Clemson 45 to 40. During that game, he broke Sean Alexander's record for most rushing yards in Alabama's history. During that season, he rushed for over 2,000 yards and scored 28 touchdowns. His entire college career, he rushed for 35, 91 yards, and 45 total touchdowns. Derrick Henry won the Heisman Award in 2015 ahead of star NFL players today like Christian McCaffrey and Deshaun Watson. He later declared for the draft this season. Exiting college, Henry is projected to be the second drafted running back behind Ezekiel Elliott and drafted late in the first round or in the second round. Henry entered the combine as 6'2", 247 pounds. Big for his size, you would expect him to be slower, but he ran an outstanding 4'5", 40-yard dash, which is phenomenal for how big he is. He had a 37-inch vertical, a 10'10 broad jump, and benched 22 reps on bench press. After this performance, this happened. <laughs> In the 16 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans choose Derrick Henry, running back, Alabama. So, Derrick Henry, six two and a half, 247 pounds. Once Derrick Henry joined the Titans, his first season was nothing that spectacular compared to um, high school or his junior year of college. Um, he rushed for 110 times and under 500 yards with only five touchdowns. Not a special rookie season, but he has room to improve from here. His sophomore season gets a little better as he's still splitting carries with DeMarco Murray. He doesn't have any super special season, but he still rushes for 744 yards and five touchdowns. More yards than his rookie season, but not what we see him as today. This season, the Titans went 9-7 and, and made the playoffs as the wildcard team. They won the first game against the Chiefs, and, and then they lost the second game. 
During the playoff games, Henry rushed for a total of 184 yards and one touchdown in both of the games combined. His third season in 2018 was where he really broke onto the scene. Henry was a starting running back and got the ball a lot of times during the season. Henry was on a tear for the final few games of the season. In the final four games, he rushed for 585 yards and seven touchdowns, trying to help the Titans make the playoffs. The Titans merely missed the playoffs this season, but Henry still had an amazing season. He rushed for over 1,000 yards for the first time in his career and scored 12 touchdowns. He also had a 99-yard rush versus the Jaguars as one of only two players to ever do so. This was possibly the best game of his career where he had over 200 rushing yards and four touchdowns against the Jacksonville Jaguars late in the season. This season that just happened was Henry's best by far. Henry helped lead the Titans to the playoffs and win their first two games. Being dominant in these two games, he had, so far he has rushed for 377 yards and one touchdown. He also threw a passing touchdown versus the Baltimore Ravens. Henry has been the biggest reason the Titans are still alive and contending for the Super Bowl. During this season, Henry rushed for 1540 yards, leading the league, and had scored a total of 19 touchdowns, tied with Aaron Jones for the most touchdowns this season for a skill position player. Henry has been one of the best backs in the past couple seasons and has potential to be the best back in the league if he keeps it up. Some of the NFL records Henry holds includes the longest rush and rushing touchdown in one play, first player to rush for 180 plus yards in three consecutive games and have a rushing game with 200 yards and four touchdowns on less than 22 carries and many more stats. Henry is only 24 years old and has many years of dominant football left in him. Hopefully he can stay healthy and keep performing to his top tier potential that he's doing right now and he can have the Tennessee Titans become a big threat to the NFL.